Okay, ladies, come on in here and sit down. Sit down. So, let me get the story right. So, Lauren, you and Marjorie were at a GOP conference and things got heated. Evidently, Lauren, you were upset because Marjorie spoke at a white nationalist meeting giving some speech that she claimed she wasn't there. That's interesting because on the stand she wasn't there, but now you're showing that she was there. What you don't like is that she is dragging your name into it. Now, y'all trying to act like you guys are united on the outside. That's what you want us to believe. <laughs> I know women. Girl, stop. Not, don't explain to me. You don't need to explain. I have daughters, okay? I know how y'all are. I know how women can be. It's <clears throat> many of y'all, when you're immature, not in your right mind, it's a cat fight everywhere. And so you two are going at it so tough that it was quoted as being a, like a verbal cage match and that one of the, uh, the uh, GOP conference leaders had to step in between y'all to keep you from going to blows. He had to step in on y'all. Girl, what is going on with y'all? It's enough that McCarthy and Gates are going at it, uh, but here y'all are. Uh, girls, I don't know. You got the GOP looking worse than ever, I promise you. Let me get my hair out the way. My crazy hair is doing what it wants to do. You two are going nuts. Let me see what is going on. This sounds like egos here. Power plays. Don't put my name in it. That's what you're saying, Lauren, right? Don't put my name in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, you know, already in Colorado, they're not happy with you. Uh, and then you know when, uh, Marjorie, you know when you was on that radio show and your own constituent its constituents were going in on you girl it was looking bad and now you taking a free fall and lauren says no i don't want to go in that i don't want to get it then I, i'm not i don't want to be connected to you but y'all show was tight tight a year ago you know uh, you appeared to be let me get my hair together right you appeared to be together unified for about five minutes yeah, because when you don't have no real love in your heart, no roast, real soul in you, you can't be friends. You can't find kindness and empathy for no other human being. And Marjorie, you're supposed to have this mad hate for uh, Nancy Pelosi. But I'm telling you what you never saw Nancy Pelosi do. I don't care whether she's senior age or whatever. Uh, she understands the assignment the same way I do. That is, a lady is always a lady. And you walking around here looking like a bruiser, ready to box everybody's ears off, all broad and shouldered and big and wide-backed and everything else. And you trying to get into it with, with uh, Lauren, who looks kind of small to me, but she might be able to take, take, she might be able to take you. I don't know. I don't know, but y'all going to have to watch your mouths. I'm going to take a look and see what's going on between the two of you. What's going on between Lauren and Marjorie? Marjorie. Let me give me one more good shuffle, and we're going to see what's going on. Out here at the conference, acting a plum fool. Yeah, somebody has made a clear decision, two of swords in reverse, and I guarantee you this is Lauren Boebert, I've made a clear decision, I'm not dealing with you, I don't deal with you, leave me alone, I don't deal with you, we got the queen of pentacles, she wants to be the queen, yeah, she, Lauren Boebert says I want to be the queen now, because now you on shaky ground, dear, Marjorie, you are on shaky ground. We're still waiting on the outcome, what the judge is going to say. And your campaign doesn't look good. So now you know uh, <laughs> y'all were work friends. <laughs> y'all were really frenemies. That's what this is telling me. Y'all were really fr frenemies. Mm -hmm. There you are. Somebody's made another decision. They said, oh, no. What you're giving out is toxic. <laughs> Lauren said what you're giving out toxic. 
Lauren's got a conscious all of a sudden. She's decided uh, what you're doing is toxic. I don't want to deal with you. I've made my mind up. I don't want to be out of balance. I want to stay like I'm on top of my job. I've made a very specific and clear decision. Uh, but what she really wants, she said, you know what? I'm going to take all the, the ducats for myself. I want all the prize. I want to have the longevity. I do. I want to be like almost like an empress, living lush and living good. And I don't want to deal with your foolery. Mm -hmm. This is how she sees you, queen of swords. And you probably are this, Marjorie. Queen of swords in reverse this way. All you do is speak harshly to people. You gossip all the time. And people get tired of hearing that. You gossip all the time. You got a nasty mouth. You jump to conclusions. You don't analyze anything. You get the first thing on your mind and you jump out and you do it. You got a sharp tongue. You don't have follow through. You don't see things clearly. Big difference. Lauren says it's a big difference. You and I are not the same. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Because Lauren said this is me, baby. And this is you. She said she don't slum no more. That's what she's saying. How Marjorie, what does Marjorie think about Lauren? We might as well get the whole truth. What is Marjorie thought about Lauren? Were they ever friends? What's Marjorie feelings about Lauren? Y'all GOP, y'all stay, y'all keep the mess and the drama. I told, I say this all the time, I repeat this again for those who had, did not hear it over a year ago in June of last year, I said the GOP is exploding. They're going downhill. I told that to Linda G that they were going, they're falling apart. They were going to continue to fall apart. And now here we are, y'all doing it in public. Don't even care who sees anymore. Just, just out here, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> mm. so I see you don't think well of her you feel that you're this that you are empathetic and the people can talk to me and I'm here to support the uh, party and I'm here for the people and I'm doing their bidding and I'm, I'm very warm hearted you see her as this lost and confused and she's a terrible person and she doesn't know what she's doing she's just a foggy mess and you're like you know what i'm about my work i'm gonna be about my work and in fact not only are you about your work you in her lane you are judging her work you're criticizing what she does or what she doesn't do and i bet you that's what you said to her too you told her that as if you had the right to say that she wasn't doing her work very well. You were so supervising it. This is you. You got the nerve to be coming up like I'm an authoritarian, an authority on all things political. And Lauren, you don't know as much as I do. I'm sitting on top of my game and my people, they love me and I love my constituents and, and they're supporting me there in Georgia and your work sucks. Yeah. Y'all so nasty to each other. How will this hit, hurt the GOP? Will this affect the GOP and the election? You know, this is election season going to be coming up. And with flowers up again, you, you, uh, you Marjorie, uh, in Georgia, this looks real bad. This looks real bad for you. This is just another coffin. A nail in your coffin, another nail in your coffin, another nail. Mm -hmm. That's you not looking at yourself. You don't feel guilty of anything. Mm -hmm. It's us looking bad at the GOP, of course. The people that really see that they're not here for people. They're here for money and for things and for people they could care less about. Here we see them with no plans. And they don't. They don't have any plans. They only plan to keep disrupting Biden's administration. That's their plan. Mm -hmm. So desperate to want to be on top, though. How does this... Will this affect 
Lauren's chances for re-election. Will this also help her chances in her re-election bid? Will this hurt her, Will this hurt her in her re-election bid? Yeah, it will. This is her. Prince of Wands, like the Knight of Wands, rushing in, full of energy to get the job done, to get reelected. I'm, I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna help you guys. But there's an immaturity to you, okay? There's an immaturity. There's a start, start hot and then burn cold, cause that's what you do, Marjorie. You keep getting distracted in things, and you run out and you get hot and you burn cold, and then you come behind that, and then you try to uh, be deceptive. And to say things that are harsh to people and to try to undercut people. That's what you did to Lauren. And I have no love for Lauren Bobby, but that this is what you do. You will say most anything and do anything in the harsh, harshest way. You don't own anything. You don't take responsibility for anything that you do. You slash and burn whatever you come across. Is that going to hurt your election? Absolutely, that's going to hurt your election. Your election is going to be stopped. Your re-election. You got the knight, uh, the chariot, excuse me, in reverse. This is stunted, stopped, blocked. And the only one that's stunting and blocking you is you. Yeah. So, of course, naturally, that's going to hurt your election. Let me see what's going to, how it's going to affect Lauren. Will this hurt Lauren's re-election? Oh, you're looking down your nose on Lauren. I just heard it. You look down your nose on her. You feel she's not qualified. Oh, you told her that. Oh, yes, you did. You told her that. You told her she's not qualified. Yeah. Yeah, you told her she wasn't smart. <laughs> you said she didn't do much for Colorado. <laughs> but here you are doing nothing for it. For Georgia either so you kind of both are in the same boat Will this stunt Lauren's re-election Lauren's re-election it will Lauren gets the tower card Lauren thinks that she's gonna hurry up and distance herself from Marjorie so all the gunk and the smoke and the everything doesn't brush off onto her from Marjorie and yet you still get hit with the tower anyways they don't like you there they don't like you there they really don't mm -mm. funny you got the same card <laughs> wow this looks really bad for you Lauren Lauren here you are running the race into the election you're gonna help those people in your district right and yet you get the tower card that says no you're coming to an end and the Eight of Wands in reverse says that journey, that trip, that election, that whatever will not happen. It will not happen. You will lose as well. Too bad, uh, ladies, you're clowning again. You're looking a whole fool. And uh, Gates and McCarthy, you know what? I'm telling you, both of y'all are hanging on the, by the thread. And Gates, the only reason that you run with these ladies is because and Marjorie, because nobody likes you. I'm just being honest. Nobody likes you. Somebody needs to tell you that. So I'm going to be the one to tell you. Nobody likes you. That's why you have no choice but hanging with them. Anyways, guys, if you like the videos, make sure that you thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll see you real soon.